Hello and welcome to the channel. My name is Nigel. The channel is Nigel's Cheap Vlogs. I also go by the name of the Lake Erie Vlogger. And for those people that are new to the channel, I quite often just go out on my sea do, do adventure stuff, chase a few storms on the lake. Also chase a few storms around the region, uh, document them all. I also do some Niagara Falls videos as well. Uh, but the reason why we're here today is for this, the 72 hour November storm. The next 72 hours is actually predicting a prolific snowfall event for the South Niagara region, which stretches from Port Coburn all the way down to Fort Erie. And uh, for a while, the next 72 hours, I'm gonna try and get out there and try and get some footage as much as I can and frequently as I can. So what I've done right now, I've started recording this right now, which is Thursday afternoon. We've had a few flakes, but nothing to write home about just yet. We're not expecting any major snow until around about 5, 6 p.m. But what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put it all in chronological order uh, so you'll see the time event as the as the weekend unfolds and we'll see how much snow we get But anywhere in the Fort Erie region we could see as much as four feet of snow uh, But only time will tell whether the weather forecasters are right or the amateur forecasters are right So what we're gonna do we're just gonna keep documenting it keep coming back here and just keep adding more and more footage as the weekend goes along All right, the snow has started. It's coming down pretty good. Started like 15 minutes ago and uh, it's uh, pretty strong. It's almost like strong, that's the wrong word for it, I guess. Uh, it's intense, it's coming down very heavily and it's very wet too. Uh, good snowman snow. Thunder. Good morning, Friday morning. Uh, it's just gone eight o'clock. And it didn't snow as much as I thought it would do in the area. It came down really hard last night for about three hours and then just stopped. Literally around about 11.30, stopped, done. And uh, surprised when I woke up, no more snow had fallen. Right on. Right on six inches. I wasn't expecting this first thing this morning, no wind. So I took the opportunity to get the drone out and get it up in the air and have a quick look around, see what I can see from my own home. So I'm starting off at Point Abano, looking towards Port Coburn, and we're going to swing it right over the lake. See the uh, really dark clouds, uh, probably sat towards the middle to the south side of the lake, uh, stretching as far as the eye can see. And as we pan around, we're going to start making its way over to Buffalo, and you'll see it just goes on and on and on. And there's Buffalo right there in the uh, center of the screen right now. So this is a still shot, I just kind of touched it up a little bit. You can see the bands of snow, and there's another shot showing how dark it is out on the lake. Come down to Fort Erie to check out what's going on down here. Uh, they've had a little bit more snow than we did in Ridgeway. Crystal Beach. Not much, just a little bit more. But check this out over here. As I spin around looking at the camera there, check that out. That is the huge snow squall line which we caught earlier on on the drone footage from this morning, first thing this morning. And it's still just feeding right into Buffalo. I just got some shots of it coming into Buffalo as you can see right over here. So what I've done uh, just a few minutes ago, I just got the drone up once again because believe it or not, the winds are quite light here which is kind of strange. So I managed to get the drone up and I uh, got these shots for you of the uh, snow squall and uh, the snow band just going right into Buffalo. When cold Arctic air crosses over the lake, the warmer water creates convective clouds. For this to happen, there needs to be a 13 degrees, 23 degrees Fahrenheit temperature difference between the water at the surface and 5,000 feet above. Also, along with winds in the same direction for at least 100 kilometers. 
Today, the strong winds are stretching back as far as Cleveland and blowing in the same direction right towards Buffalo. I just want to give you an idea what it looks like in downtown Buffalo looking over at the same squall line. There it is. Uh, thank you very much, Bobby, for letting me use that image. And just slightly further down the road from him is this, taken around about the same time. It is just dumping out there, guys. You can see how the cloud just drops into the lake. That is some very, very heavy snow out there over Lake Erie right now. Pushing its way into Buffalo once again. Uh, looks like it's on the south side of Buffalo now. You can just see in the distance the windmills. You can see two of them and the rest are all obscured by the snow. That's how heavy it is. So I can clearly see two and I can see the base of one and that's it, it disappears. Uh, that is Buffalo in the distance, being illuminated by the uh, uh, the lights of the city, and it's illuminating the snow clouds. Um, my video is not doing it as much justice, but uh, maybe I can get a photograph. So, uh, if there's a photograph, I'm going to put it up right now. Back down in Fort Erie, and look at that, that is, that is amazing. I, once again, I don't think the camera's doing it justice, so I'm gonna take a couple of photographs with my phone, and if they show up good, I'm gonna put them at the end of this clip. That's really cool. Wow, look at that. The snow squall is moving back in over the city of Buffalo. Right in front of my eyes, that is amazing. I just wish uh, I could get a better shot. Oh my god, it's going to eat the whole freaking building. That is so cool. Heavy snow once again, falling on the city of Buffalo. And it's gone. Just going to show you some uh, photos I took down there with my phone uh, of Buffalo and the uh, snow squall coming in. Great cloud formation over the lake. Absolutely stunning it was. And did you spot the uh, face in the clouds on the first photograph? I'll go back to it. Do you see the face? Well, it snowed, <laughs> finally. Uh, snowed in the middle of the night uh, at about 3 or 4 o'clock in the morning. By 5.30 it stopped. Uh, it was a bit, about 10 centimetres, maybe a bit more. Uh, but nothing in comparison to what, oh gee, to what they've got over in uh, Buffalo. Oh, I'm the first one to walk on the path, dog.
Best, best winter ever. Well, there you have it, folks. Best winter ever. It's only just started. I'm gonna make my way up to Sodom Road, which is probably one of the most notorious roads in the Niagara region for when it's snowing. Uh, very open road, um, just uh, north of Stevensville before you get to the QEW. I'm gonna head up there, then I'll make my way into Fort Erie, get some fuel, and head home. So it's kind of like a triangle I'm gonna ride around in. This is a really notorious area, once you get up here. As soon as they plow it, it's covered in snow again within like five seconds. <laughs> Speed. Can't see. The entrance to the highway is completely gone. Oh, there it is. Gee, that was deep. Well, I think I might be the first car down here in a long time. Now I'm trying it on the highway. I just want to stop. All right, here we go. And I'm on. <laughs> well, that was fun. <laughs> Not. I continued my leisurely drive up towards Niagara Falls uh, through Chippewa, but once I got to Chippewa, I realized the snow was very, very light, even though I went through a heavy band, which you'll see very, very shortly. Uh, I did find out, however, that St. Catharines got about 31 centimeters yesterday afternoon, and uh, the St. Catharines airport on Saturday afternoon got up to 28 centimeters. So anyway, uh, I just drove as far as Chippewa and turned back around and went towards Crystal Beach. You did a better job than me. <laughs> well done. Yeah. Really windy, really icy down at Crystal Beach. All the action's right here. Now, when I came into Crystal Beach, <laughs> I'm a little bit of a scare. That whole hill is just ice. Not sure where this van came from, but I can assure you he didn't come down from the hill. So he must have come in the other way. Good snow tires. The driver of the white SUV that was hit approached me about 30 minutes later on in the parking lot to inform me that the driver of the uh, grey pickup truck fled the scene. Basically just disappeared. He pulled around the corner thinking the guy was going to follow him. He took off. So anyway, I passed this video on to uh, the owner of that car and I'll let them sort it out. Uh, just to let you know though, uh, it, once you get to the top of that hill, it doesn't matter if you go forwards or backwards, you're on top of a hill and both were slippy.
as you can see, the snow's finally coming down. A uh, pretty good break. So, just over 48 hours into this 72 hour event, and uh, I'm finally getting to see snow myself. <sighs> Snowing pretty good here in Ridgeway. Roads are thankfully deserted. Only a couple of cars, so pretty much deserted. Uh, but it's coming down at a really, really fast rate. Uh, it probably started just over an hour ago, and uh, I shoveled my driveway uh, earlier on. I should say the snowblower, and got it down to the asphalt. And when I came back out, at least six centimeters just fall, just fell in the last couple of hours. So, uh, um, the, and the winds don't help either. Very strong winds, whipping the snow up, whipping the spray. All right, as you can see, it's totally wild down here. Uh, big waves, a lot of wind, a lot of snow. This certainly wasn't the night to be out on a two-wheel drive in a vehicle, even with snow tires on, you just can't beat it. Uh, those drifts were pretty good down by the waterfront. Anyway, thankfully these two guys showed up in their pickup truck and uh, with a bit of a winch in and a bit of a uh, shove. Uh, we managed to get this young lad and his girlfriend out of a little tricky situation there. Uh, down by the river, Niagara Boulevard. Is it called Niagara Boulevard here? I know it is once you get past the Peace Bridge. Uh, the river's just to my right. The glow of Buffalo. Peace Bridge just ahead. Uh, we've got some good snow down in Fort Erie, a little bit more I think than Ridgeway got at Crystal Beach. Down in Fort Erie right now. Oh, look at the back of my vehicle. Gee. <laughs> yep, nicely caked on that. Should clear my lights off. There we go, that helps. So yeah, as you can tell from down here, a lot of snow's fallen in that last dumping, but nowhere near as bad as what uh, they got over there. City of Buffalo. Actually, Buffalo himself didn't do too bad. It was just the other side of it. Snowing over there right now. I can just work out the, the line right there. So it wasn't really much of a 72 hour storm in the end, was it? Uh, I really was expecting a lot more. Uh, kind of disappointed, but at the same time, kind of relieved. Over there, they got like <laughs> four to six feet of snow in many places. And uh, we're lucky if we saw between 30 and 35 centimeters overall um, in the last two nights. I mean, the snow squall did stay over there for a long, long period and never made it really over here. When it did, it came over quite fast and disappeared and then came back again tonight very quickly. Uh, one day though, we'll be unlucky and we'll get buried and they'll be laughing at us. This is kind of neat to see. Uh, the wind and the ice created that off the lake and just fell off. 
All right, 72 hours is about to come to an end, and at the end of the day, a word I've used many times on several of my uh, Storm videos is, it was a dud. Uh, yeah, very disappointed with the overhyped Storm once again uh, for the Niagara region. Uh, 30, 35, maybe 40 centimeters is not quite the 50, 60, 70, and some of the other models that were uh, predicting two, maybe three feet for our region, and Buffalo getting the five or six. They seem to got Buffalo correct, but they didn't get the, uh, the Niagara region correct in any way. So, uh, anyway, grateful in a way, uh, less stuff to clean up. Uh, but on the other hand, uh, just disappointed when you get a hype like that and uh, you miss out. It's just exciting. Weather's exciting. It really is. It's, it's hard to believe just just if, uh, literally five or six miles uh, as the crow flies, you're in the States and it's a whole different world. It'll be completely different. Uh, the snow up to six feet and stuff like that. So anyway, what I'm going to do right now to play you out with, uh, thanks for watching, by the way. I'm going to give you a little montage of uh, some of the uh, sights in Buffalo. It'll be clear one moment, the next, a wall of snow. It's kind of pushing in and creating those whiteout conditions. Any guesses what this mound is? If you guessed a car, you are correct. Buried here. They're digging out of over 35 inches of snow here. In the RAV4. Oh my god! I just hit Hang on. That. Shh. Oh, no. That's crazy. That is insane.